Are we your little tinkers? I'm Toast Bloke. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm playing some more prehistoric kingdom surprise surprise and I am wanting to get closer to achieving the coveted accolade that is having a five star rated park. So let's get cracking. I'm going to come right out and say it. This is my pride and joy. I absolutely love this enclosure now. It might not be the best one, but it's the one I've spent the most time adding detail to. So as you can see, since the last episode, I've popped a little toilet in this gap we had near the entrance. And uh, I've just created like a, a little area in front of the enclosure's building by adding some planters. And in that area, we've got a T-Rex statue. So everybody knows what is going on in this building and um, also got things like benches vending machines but more importantly the enclosure has a sick title it's called Rexy time and um, and that was inspired by Nigel's fondness with the dinosaurs uh, <laughs> doesn't seem appropriate but uh um, I also sorted out this little viewing area a little bit just quickly banged a kiosk in there for T-Rex tea so people can have a cup of tea and enjoy the view of the T-Rexes. There's one more thing I need to show you. This is probably the most important thing. I don't know why I didn't think about showing you this first, but I have created my first building that is 100% dedicated to backstage goings on. It's like a little electrical substation. Um, and my highlight, the highlight of this, my favorite part is that there is a broom that has fallen over. Seriously though, I had to add that because I was banging solar panels on the roof and it was like, still not enough electricity, still not enough. So I was like, screw that, this roof's gonna look ridiculous. So I added a little substation there. Um, I also just made this a little shop in here. I feel like there's a bit, bit of a big space with not too much going on inside, but you get the idea. Um, so yeah, let's get cracking with today's enclosure um, I'm not sure what I want to do yet I just know that I have to be quick I'm doing this before work today so I'm gonna have to record this edit it and upload it normally I do my videos and schedule them in advance but I've just not been able to do this week so hopefully I get this on today if it's uploaded on Sunday I succeeded if it doesn't I'm a failure Um, yeah where do these start changing it's about there I want a five-star dino really Parasaurolophus is one, could do. Triceratops is another. Are there any more? Brachiosaurus would work. More Parasaurolophus. Or however the hell you say it. Smilodon, sorry. Um, you only four star rated. Argentinosaurus, I think that's like the top dunny. Is that like the big, big boy? Smilodon. We want in mammals in the park. I don't know. I keep saying it's a dinosaur park. I feel like I'm going to have to stop saying that if I uh, get a mammal. But I kind of really would love a mammoth. Do you know what? It was coming up in conversation there. So I think it's meant to be. I think I'm going to still call this a dinosaur park because it's what I've been calling it. But let's get our first mammal in. Eh? Eh? I've got to be quick. But yeah, let's breed a male and a female, get them banged out. They don't need a stupidly huge enclosure, so I feel like this is going to work out nicely. Boreal, 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 boreal. I have no idea how to say that. Please let us know in the comments below. You can spell it out phonetically, and uh, hopefully I won't sound like such a pleb next time I talk about it. But yeah, let's put them at the back of the park, away from the other two, because we've kind of got our herbivore area. And we've got our carnivore area, which is this area here. So maybe we pop out and do like a different section. So herbivore, carnivore, mammal. There's only like, I think there's only two mammals in the game at the minute. If I put them here, that's that's going to be a tease, isn't it? Like if the T-Rex has come up to here and there's a mammoth right there. That's just going to ask for trouble. So let's not do that. Let's maybe bring them a little bit further around. Bop them behind these trees. They create a nice little divide, I guess. But that means I'm going to have to run a path around those trees so the guests can get up to the enclosure. Now, I want to figure that out. First of all, let's level off the ground. Mm. 
lovely that is the ground level the trees removed from the area it's time for us to start thinking about this path and to figure out where it's going to go and um, i don't want it to get too far over this way because we're probably going to want to put another enclosure or something here or at least have the ability to build here and um, do i get i don't want to move the substation either that's going to take too long so i feel like the path's going to have to come around on the other side of the trees here um, and follow this around and join on this path somewhere so let's figure that out now it's not going to be perfect but it's not too bad so that'll do and um, just to have an idea of how this is going to look let's what am i doing that wasn't the button I wanted to press. This is the one I wanted to press. Let's get this tool here and we should be able to raise the ground within here. Cool. So that just gives us an idea of how this could look. I don't particularly like what I've done. I think that's too high. Let's uh, bring that down to size a little bit. Smooth that off. And I think we're on a bit, bit more of a winner there. Just needs some work, but as long as it's in place, we can see if the path looks all right. I think it does. And now it's time to figure out the enclosure shape. So we said we could have a one meter high wall. I think I want the wood. Because these don't these don't need metal to the stone I don't feel like. You can't see through stone, can you? So the front's gonna at least want to be wood. I know that's that fence will do, but I, it just doesn't look right for the size of the creature, so let's um use this size. And I'm just gonna build a Yeah, I'm gonna try and follow this curve out. Because this doesn't want to be too big, I think I'm going to keep it narrow. So we're going to have it long so the enclosure takes up quite a lot of space. And people can see the mammoths, or the mammoth, or the mammoth eye, whatever the hell you say, uh, as they go along the path without the mammoth being too far away from the viewing area. I think that's the plan. Am I going to have to move these? At last, Nige. the woolly mammoth. Sorry, Nige. Ruler of the Ice Age, then ruler of none. There's wow. nothing quite like it on the planet today. These majestic elephants <laughs> are beautifully adapted they used for to cold be royalty. environments. Yeah, Their key no, no. adaptations are small Lizzie, ears and a Lizzie thick coat her, God of rest fur. Us all. It's imperative we give them the best acclimation possible, or else we might have to give the herd a haircut. Oh, I can't be dealing with that. Got a little puppy. It's an absolute nightmare taking care of her and her hair, so these beasts would be absolutely difficult. But yeah, I'm just I'm a little bit sad now. You know, when I first heard Queen Lizzie had died, like, I, did, I wasn't, like, really upset. Like, it wasn't wasn't the biggest of deals, which is probably a bad thing to say as an Englishman. Like, it's, it's sad, obviously, but I wasn't, like, distraught or anything. And then um, I realised what it was going to mean. Like, all my life I've been singing God Save the Queen. I'm not going to sing that no more. It's going to be God Save the King. It doesn't sound right. And then I was like, hang on, as well, on top of that, right, I'm now going to have Prince Charles's ugly mug on me coins. And I'm like, ah. that's sad. Like, Queen Lizzie, she was absolutely stunning. And you're like, going to take her off me coins and give us Charles. Thanks. Thanks. Let's see if this is big enough. Habitat wise, no. Close, close. Right, let's just do a little bit more on that. I don't really like the shape I've done anyway. I don't know what the hell this is. A bit weird. I feel like it started off well. It's that part there where it's gone wrong. I'm just going to do my best to follow this path, curve off it, keep this nice and thin because I want the guests to be able to see the mammoth, mammoths, mammoth eye as them. Um, to go along the path without them being too far away. So I think this is going to be a long, slender 
enclosure. So let me figure that out. Let's see if that's the right size for them. Nope, the one bigger. Right then, so how do I make this bigger? Where's the best place to make this bigger? I feel like that's getting a bit too close to that path. Um, I could bulge this area out more, or we could just maybe make that less drastic there. I think that could be the answer. Let's find out. I've gone from one extreme to the other, you watch. That's not too bad, that's alright, that's alright. Sick. Let's go with that then. So it's a weird shaped enclosure. Um, but it's an enclosure. And we need to start thinking about how things are going to look. Um, water is always a good place to start. I feel like you do a lot of landscaping based around where the water is. And oh, I guess we've got to see how much water they want. It wasn't a lot, was it, that they needed? We're in um, Boreal, aren't we? Can I see my screen? Lamps in the way. We're in Boreal. Is that... Whoa, that is cool. So we're going to paint the grass with snow. What's that brown stuff? That's grass. Oh, it's like less healthy grass. <laughs> right, well, let's... It looks like we're putting... I, I want this to feel like, you know... The full authenticity of the boreal style enclosure. So let's get this all grassed out with the dodgy grass. I'm glad I'm glad we're starting this at the back because yeah, this this is gonna look totally different to everything else. And it would have looked a little bit lost, I think, just stuck in the middle of all the tropical stuff. Let's um figure out the water like I was planning to. I just feel a bit lost. I feel like I'm rushing because I've got no time and I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. Where, where do I go? What do I do? So, um, let's start off small as usual, and let's just blob some water down. How does that do? Where is the water? Ah, oh, it's fine. A bit there. That's, that's going up quite quick, wow. I do like what I did at the T-Rex thing. I quite liked having a few different bits of water knocking about. We're halfway or There's no water, hardly! And we're halfway through. This is ridiculous. What on earth? These guys do not like water. Water's life. Do you not know? Like, if you don't have water, you'll die. He's out here going, no, thank you. I'd rather not have any. I'm just going to get as much in as I can before it goes too far. I feel like that's it. I feel like I've got to risk that. Let's put another little blob there. I don't like that that was two sections of three. It looked a bit too symmetrical. Right, I think we're okay. Cool. So let's do the substrate now based on the water. Rock, gravel. We're gonna we're gonna sort out our rock first. Let's get the gravel in around the water. Makes sense, right? Now I'm a bit scared. I don't know how thick this snow goes down. But I guess I'm just going to work the snow into some of these areas. Oh, that's quite thick. Can I bring it down a little? Yeah, that's better. That's better. I feel like I've got more control over it there. Bring the snow into some of these areas where there's grass. That's all right. Looks messy. 
Well, that's that's how it should look. Let's get to landscaping then. I think the bits I'm going to raise and pull up are going to be the snowy bits, as if the snow's kind of fallen and landed more on the hilly parts. But also, I think that would explain to us, in my head, why that area hasn't been walked on so much. And the last little bit would be, I guess, making this rocky and rough on the rock parts and around the front edges. Yeah, that looks good. It's looking good. Looking good. the simple option which is rocks and um, so these rocks are always good for the front of something so let's pop that there that's another one that's good for the front of something so pop that one there and then we've got to work from that around the back um, do I I'd, I'd like the tall rocks to be fair but that's quite tall, isn't it? Let's make that bigger. Is that, how would you do it again? Like that, lovely. Let's make that bigger because I think that's going to make a nice backing for the cave. It's a cave. Whatever it is. Lovely. And then this feels really quite basic. Let's move them around a little bit. I feel like it's not big enough inside. Not have plenty of room to get moved around. Right, and then it's favourite rock time. And we will do our little bit of jiggery pokery here to make this more of a roof. Kind of shape. And we'll just bang a few of those down. So that they're not sticking up too high. And they feel like they belong is part of this. I think that works. That one down a little bit. Yeah, it looks all enclosed in. That's cool. Let's lift this one up a little bit maybe just so we've got some different depths and things. Cool, and I think that'll do for their little enclosure. I think maybe just to finish it off, get some rocks maybe in the front here just to make it look a little bit more enclosed. Lovely, cool. So that's their little house done class. So now we need the rocks elsewhere. And I guess I'm just gonna go for that approach of going around the pools. I might include this one. Yeah, let's make that part of the same thing. Um, I feel like that can be almost like there's a wall going around the back of there. I'm gonna mix this up with some different rocks, scale them up and uh, do something like that, I think that would be quite nice.
Right, lovely random little wall around the back with a cave in it. And now I'm just gonna do the rockery around the pool. So I'll be back with you once that is complete. Right, so that's the main rocks in, and they're a little bit more carefully placed, but I feel like doing that little trick we tried, where we just get rocks. Where is the rock? Is this Taylor Mick? Why can't I see the actual rock? What is happening? Can I get another rock to show up? Yeah. So that rock is there, that rock exists. Oh, it's there now, it's there now. Well, where's it going? The hell? Right, let's just put it down. That one's just vanishing about the place, like. So I'm just gonna dot these around, whether they, you can see them or not. And uh, let's see what we can do here. Just trying to create some sort of little rocky landscape. Right, that's our group. What I'll do is I want to move it. How do I move the whole group? Select all and move. Now if we can get this just to show up in some places on the ground and then duplicate it. Do the spinny trick for it. Don't know where half of them are but Dot them about all over the enclosure. We might have to change the heights and stuff for some of them, but it just gets gets more rocks in, doesn't it? I think it looks a little bit more real. Having these dotted about the place. Ooh. That just speeds things up and gives us a little bit more of a rocky environment. So I think design wise, the last thing we've got to think about is getting in some trees. So forest wise, we know we've got to go to Boreal. And wow, what are these red? Oh, these are nice. So we've got some big tall trees. I want to make this small with a low density straight away. And we're just going to pick out where you want some trees and carefully watch how this goes up. I'm guessing they're going to want to be sparse. We'll find out. These are nice. I like, I really, I'm loving this, um, this biome. I feel like we've kept one of the best till one of the last. Kind of, kind of be upset about that. And to be fair, they, they like quite a bit of forest. It's not too bad, it seems. Which is good. Just a few around there, so I've got a bit of privacy near the front door. I'm liking going for the darker plants. I feel like so often we've got like light ones. I feel like this is enjoyable to just play about with something a little bit different. Class. And again, just dotting these about the place where I feel like they look quite cool in and around the rocks.
That's good. I guess kind of singing, man. So we need this to be a little bit less intense, shall we say? This front section. Whoa, I'm killing it. Not in a good way, like killing it as in. The enclosure is dying to death. Right, and then we'll lower the top a little bit based on that. This got, I got carried away here clearly. And then smooth tool time. Make sure it's not <laughs> too ridiculously intense. And then roughen that up again on the front. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe the intensity shouldn't be that high. Lovely. Right, I think that's the terrain done. They seem happy with it. It's just time to take care of the creature's necessities. So let's head into animal welfare. We're going to want to put in some straw beds into their little crate area. Crate area? The sleeping area? It's not crate. What am I about? The crate area. In their little bed area. Do I want that one or just one? Oh no, I do want that one. Or... Let's hear when it does that. There we go. So they can sleep in there. What else do you need? Food for them. Let's put some food trays down. And I'd really like, when I figured this out, that you could change these. So I'm going to go wood since their enclosure's got wood stuff happening all over the place. Um, I don't know where I should put the food. Maybe somewhere in the middle here. I'm going to have to create a little bit more of a level area where the food's going to go. So let's level that off. I'll put some food there. Why? I do not know, but that's where one's going. And we'll put one at the other side as well. Level off a little area where I want it to go. Just going to stick it in the middle of these parts. Level that off. Pop this down here. Right, class. And then, the last few touches. I believe they're going to want... It's not going to be the blood pumpkins, are they? Let's find out what they like for enrichment. What do you like? What do you like? You like frozen fruit block. Class. Bop them in. I'm not as fussed about them being uh, as nicely placed as I was with the food. And the last thing is, because I sometimes forget, is to bop these in the bushes. Bop dung beetles in the bushes. Keep them kind of hidden, but keep plenty of them about the place, because uh, they do actually make a big difference. I think they look a bit naff if they're sticking out, so... Try and hide them a little bit. I'm not sure if these are on the floors, they should be, but... Get them right near the bed as well. Cool, and I think that would be our latest enclosure complete. A um, little bit random. It feels like we've gone backwards a little bit and gone a little bit basic. But that's kind of what I've got to do with the amount of time I've got today. Uh, these guys are happy. Nigel says we could add some more of them. So yeah, that's it for our first boreal, maybe our only boreal enclosure. Let's see if we've hit the next star rate. Nah, we're still not in it. God damn it, I want to like be like solidly four stars. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen. I, I think that is this enclosure done. There's nothing, well, it is done. I'm just a little bit disappointed that I've done nothing spectacular in this video. I mean, I think it looks pretty, but that might be more down to the biome. I, I mean, I just, I love the contrast of the colours with the snow, the red plants. And um, I've enjoyed doing this kind of rock pool approach. I think that looks pretty sick. I think it's worked out that it's a nice, long, narrow enclosure. And um, really, I, there's not much to show you. I can't really give you a tour other than 
we have a cave here. But um, yeah, I'm going to call that there because as far as I'm concerned, that's finished and I need to start thinking about getting ready for work. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like, please subscribe and please ring the notification bell. If you want to as well, why not leave a comment below? It'd be lovely to get some feedback and thoughts on what you're thinking of the video. So feel free to do that or even give it a share. All these things help me out hugely apparently, so I would appreciate it. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care, look after yourselves, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.